Hey guys, welcome to Barrack Mitsubishi. My name is Josh and today I'd just like to start off by saying thank you for inquiring on this 2014 Mitsubishi Triton GLX-R. Now, this car does have plenty of features on it uh, and I'm just going to walk you around as best as I can and show you exactly why you've made the right decision inquiring on it. Uh, starting off at the front, you can see this car is very well accessorized. We've got that smoke bonnet protector just there, which is going to protect your bonnet and windshield from stone chips. Uh, then just under that, we've got uh, headlight covers. So um, the benefit is it uh, protects your headlights from chips and uh, other sorts of damage and let's face it, it is cheaper to replace a headlight cover than an actual headlight if something does happen. Uh, then just on top of the nudge bar here we've got an um, LED driving light so if you need the extra visibility um, when there are no street lights around and that nudge bar is just going to obviously protect the front end of the vehicle. Now, uh, we do have fog lights in this vehicle as well, so you do get that extra visibility in foggy conditions um, as well. Moving along the side of this car, being the um, being the GLX-R, you do get um, alloys. So they are all in really good condition and uh, plenty of tread left in all the tyres as well. That one's actually completely faultless. I can't, um, I can't find any marks on it at all. Uh, and you do get chrome side, mirror, side mirrors and door handles, so uh, it does look really nice, but it also serves the benefit of if you are driving at night, people do get that extra uh, visi visibility. People can see your car um, even, even in um, darker conditions. Now, if you pan up to the roof, you will see that you get roof racks attached to this model as well. So if you need to store something on the roof, you've got that option. Um, option there. Now just below here we've got the alloy sidestep to help shorter people get in the car or kids or elderly people, how, whatever you need it for. Um, or if you're wearing a suit and can't quite um, get in without ripping your pants you can hop in the car that way. Uh, and onto the onto our next alloy wheel here. There are, oh uh, no, looks like it's all just rubbing off. Once again like the first one, faultless and plenty of tread left in that tire. So. Um, uh, it looks like you've got some really good wheels in this car as well and the paintwork looks absolutely fantastic considering the age of the vehicle. Uh, looking at the back of that car, you do get a soft tonneau cover up here which is nice and easy to pop open so I'm um, just pulling that tab up and um, tab on that side. That tab is actually uh, split but it is still very easy to open. Having a look in the tub itself, we do have that rubber mat in there, just, just going to protect the, um, the tub underneath it, and rubber floor mat in there as well. All right, closing that back up, uh, we have got a tow bar in it as well, so uh, if you do need to tow something, you've got that option for you. Now moving along the, to this side of the vehicle, the paintwork Continuing straight throughout the car is in fantastic condition. We've got sports bars attached to the tub as well and the fuel filler cap is on this side. Now just like the other two wheels, that wheel is in incredible condition and plenty of tread left in that tire. So guys, four absolutely phenomenal looking wheels. The paintwork looks incredible and if we keep panning down the side of the car you can see that uh, I actually cannot fault this paintwork at all. If I'm trying to be super picky I still can't actually pick anything out so it has been looked after really well and fourth and final wheel the one that you most often see the most scratches on because it is the, the one that's um, the hardest to see when you're parking uh, still phenomenal phenomenal condition and plenty of tread left in the tire what we're going to do now is pop the bonnet and have a look at the engine look under the bonnet now uh, what we have here is a four cylinder 2.5 litre turbo diesel engine it's got a um, it's got a power output of 131 kilowatts and a torque rating of 350 newton meters. It's got a 75 liter diesel fuel tank uh, and the average fuel consumption is about 9.6 liters per 100. Depending how you drive, you could see an average fuel distance of 781 kilometers for a full tank. Okay, guys, taking a look inside the GLXR Triton now. Starting off in the driver's side doors, we've got all of our power window controls. The driver's side being automatic up and, uh, sorry, automatic down, but you do have to hold it to go back up. And above that, we've got the um, window lock. Now, behind the steering wheel on the right-hand side here, obviously you won't be able to see it from that angle, but um, all your power mirror controls are here, and you've got the, a button to fold in your side mirrors as well. Next to that we've got a traction control and a little silver switch which actually controls the LED light bar on the front of the car. 
Now on the right hand side of the right hand stalk we've got our indicators and headlights and on the left hand side we've got all our washers and wipers and on this nice steering wheel itself uh, on the right hand side cruise control and on the left hand side all our media settings and then just below here your um, voice activation and phone settings. Moving on into the middle screen here um, I will just get the camera to pan up to the rear view mirror quickly and show you when the car's in reverse you actually get two reverse cameras now what benefit is that i guess you've got two views so if you prefer looking up there or at the screen you've got both options and they both are the same camera so they're the same wide angle shot um, and it makes it really easy to back up now just in here we've got um, some info about the car so things like elevation um, which direction you're facing um, um, elevation barometers whatever options you need for off-roading and then on this um, aftermarket Ken Kenwood head unit there are some pretty cool features on it which I'm going to run you through very quickly um, in terms of media uh, digital radio Bluetooth um, uh, AM and FM radio Pandora Spotify screen mirroring iPod CD USB um, I think there is an AUX port somewhere which I haven't located so don't quote me on that one um, but it definitely does have a USB port which is in the glove box now if um, if you press the button at the bottom right of the screen you can actually change the um, the angle of the head unit so as you can see one to six and depending how you like your angle the head unit completely changes angles I don't know who's tall enough to use number six but if you are you've got that option too um, and if you want to eject your disc press eject disc and the whole screen folds down and the CD port is just behind there. Um, so those are some pretty cool, um, pretty cool features of that um, of that head unit. And if you su uh, switch to the switch across here, you do get multiple settings like um, your clock and various other information. Now below that, we've got all our climate control settings. So they're all automatic, but they are um, they are dials. So you set your temperature with this one, and then um, your um, fan speed you can just leave it in order and which fence it's coming out of below that we've got a little bit of storage and just under here a 12 volt socket and um, being the GLXR you do get the rear windshield that actually folds down get the camera to just uh, point to the back as you can see um, it does go up and down so if you do need to open up the rear windshield for whatever reason you have that option below there again a little bit of storage and that leather wrapped shifter there um, is really comfortable to use and next to it is your four-wheel drive selector so depending which four-wheel drive mode you're in it actually shows you on the um, on the cluster in front of you behind that a hard handbrake two very nicely sized cup holders and then that two-part center console so uh, you can keep a wallet or something in there and then open it up and you've got more storage space in there with a 12 volt socket uh, which you won't be able to see in the camera now as the camera pans around the interior you will notice that it is in very good condition uh, the previous owner has looked after this car um, really well um, and yeah guys it's it's just great to know that a, um, a car that's been decked out for four-wheel driving and um, a work vehicle has actually been looked after this well I was having a look at the service books quickly I'm actually very impressed with the service book as you can see it was bought here at Merrick Mitsubishi and then traded back to us uh, so um, throughout its life always serviced at Barrick Mitsubishi um, and never missed the service including its um, its intermediate services um, right up to when we got it back into stock um, at 129,091 kilometers where we've done another intermediate service there as well so um, you know the car has been really well looked after um, full service books there um, all serviced at the same dealership uh, so it is great value well looked after and I would highly recommend you continue um, to maintain the car with the same people who have been maintaining it this far. So um, we have service plans available. Please ask us about it. Hey guys, thank you for taking the time out of your day to do uh, to watch the walk around video on this 2014 Mitsubishi Triton GLXR. Now, as you can see, it has been very well maintained throughout its whole life, always serviced at the right places. Um, and if you want to continue that which I would highly recommend you did ask us about a premium mechanical protection plan because it covers you for the next five years or 200,000 k's on the clock on 181 electrical and mechanical components of the vehicle now it also gives you $3,000 claims with unlimited claims um, and 
on top of all that, you know we get to extend our great service to you by um, by maintaining your car at the same place it's always been looked after at. Um, now, once again, um, ask us about that plan because we can actually work it into your finance repayments at a very small amount. Uh, Mario and Julie would be more than happy to discuss that with you. Um, and, um, and just as assurance that you are dealing with the right people, have a look at our Google reviews. We've got 4.8 stars with over 800 reviews from customers Australia-wide. We like to make the process nice and easy, make sure that you are buying the right car. And above all else, we like to make sure that you are buying a good quality vehicle from the right people. So. Once again, the number to call is 9907055. Ask us anything you would like about um, the car finance or that plan. Um, but yeah, once again, my name is Josh. Have a great day.